art and character designs provided by Demon Artie. Be sure to follow her over on Twitter, at Artie Demon. Want to be first to have access to early artwork, concept sketches, exclusive art that can't be seen anywhere else? Then support Demon Artie over on her Patreon. Link in description below. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sin. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. Episode 10 of Thundercatch Roar, Hook Mountain. Um, another just kind of, nah, there's, there's really nothing going on here. Uh, there's a lot of time wasting. And I felt like, well, maybe they could have developed things a little bit better. Uh, they, they set up this guy to be a bad guy, but he ends up just being just some lonely guy on the mountain. But they try so hard to like make you think like, like it's going to be a, a, because they trust because Lionel, Lionel's an idiot. He trusts everybody. And then they're trying to set up, oh, he's a bad guy. But I thought, well, if anything Tigra believes is wrong in the show. <laughs> so the lesson he tries to teach about trusting and him thinking this guy was a bad guy, all, all of it was wrong because it, it's Tigra. So if Tigra ever thinks of anything, you know it's wrong. Uh, we open up and that title card is just, God, that's just horrifically ugly. And there's a lot of ugly in this episode. But they're up in the snow for, for reasons. <laughs> and it's, it's Hook Mountain. And it's this big dangerous mountain, all kinds of dangerous things. It goes on and on about how dangerous this is. They said something ridiculous like it's 300 degrees or 500 degrees below zero. They why 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 over exaggerate such a stupid thing? Then Lionel's like, "Thank goodness I have my booties on," which he doesn't have on in this one scene before, and now he has booties. You know how you put booties on a cat or a dog, and since they have paws, they have four feet basically. So he's wearing four shoes and instead of gloves and shoes. These are the jokes, people. But uh, yeah, the super dangerous place is super dangerous, and like how scared he looks. Oh yay! So he's like, oh, but when you're on these, when you're in a scary place or a dangerous place, you got to trust your teammates. So we have to, you know, uh, trust each other. So it's going to teach you like a trust fall, you know, the classic, you fall back and I catch you. And then in the process of that, you'll end up trusting me. Why did he need to go to the mountain to do this? <laughs> Can he have done the trust fall thing at the lair? But uh, Lino takes that as, oh, I'm going to climb this mountain and jump off and you're going to catch me. And this guy goes on for a while because the joke is it's so, so high up. It takes him forever to fall. You know, like in a like in a Looney Tunes cartoon, uh, you know, when you go, I'm gonna catch it and go, and they're like running around in a circle. Tiger does that, but it goes on. It, the joke goes on too long, and it it wasn't. It was barely kind of in the beginning, let alone 40 seconds into it. He keeps falling, and then they do the same gag a couple times, where like there's these pterodactyls like making like baby ones making weird noises. Is that funny? Okay, whatever. So he falls past that. He keeps falling, keeps falling, keeps falling. Slams into Tigra. Then we get, yeah, there's a lot of butt cheeks in this episode, so if you like some Thundercatch War ass, you're going to get it in this episode. You notice how they never, uh, it's never Chitara showing off her ass, it's always all the guys, so, well, I mean, come on, let's get some equality here. So, you know, we get to see Lionel's butt again, and he's like, yay, that was wonderful trust. I, I don't know. He gets snow in his eye, and that's scary, because he thinks, I mean, why? I guess a storm's rolling in. So they're like, oh, we gotta, let's get out of here. So they went up there for nothing. They literally went up there for Lionel to jump off a mountain. Oh, the other thunder, the other Thundercats are going to be looking for us. They're at home watching a cooking show. And it's like a, it's just one of those baking shows. And it's so funny. I actually like to cook and I can't stand these things. But they don't care where they're at. Again, because they, they just, none of them care about each other. <laughs> we get back to uh, uh, Lionel's like, oh, but this is a trust exercise. I trust that we need to keep doing this. Uh, there's no lesson to be learned. Lionel learns the wrong lessons. So, oh, let's keep doing this. So they're, they're climbing the mountain. It gets really stormy and they need a place to stay. And the whole thing is uh, there's all these little visual gags that don't add up to anything. No, like in an old cartoons, like the St. Bernard's would have like um, whatever, that little barrel. Uh, was there alcohol in those things? I don't understand what, what, what exactly what this was supposed to be originally. But Tiger has one too. So it's like one of the snow safety dog things. But they're like, oh, uh there's a there's like a cabin ahead. Oh, let's stay there. I mean, tigers are go to no, but dude, it's a snowstorm. You gotta you got to do what's best. You, you know, you don't have a cave or anything. So we get <laughs> just just look at this. We get we get Lionel's face one millimeter away from Tiger's ass. Again, I, I say if this the funny thing is no one no one cares. But if this would have been like Chitara's like firm gigantic ass and Lionel's face is all up in it, there there would be no end of protest. So they get they go in there and you know it looks like a nice little cabin which if this wasn't in this show this art isn't too bad 
there's like proper shading and everything and it, it doesn't look that bad but with these characters in this setting it just everything's ugly oh it's a big bear skin rug oh i'm gonna sleep there in front of the fire and then tiger like sleeps in the bed i wouldn't have done that i might have taken the pillow or whatever and slept near the fire that's kind of rude to literally sleep in someone's bed and you don't know whose it is next morning <laughs> tiger's face god lord this guy the guy who owns the cabin shows up uh, his name's snowman he's not a snowman He's all up in his face, and of course it scares the hell out of freaking uh, Tiger. He's like, oh, good morning. Hey, uh, and then of course Tiger thinks it's like a bad guy, but he's like, oh, no, I I'm your friend, and, you know, I've been watching you all night. They make him into, like, this creepy weirdo, but he's not a bad guy. So, like, what was this whole point of trying to set up this, I don't know, kind of misery situation? I don't know. It was really weird. But he's like, what, were you watching this all night, you know, from the bed? He's like, oh, no, I was watching from my chair. And then it's just super creepy, and he has like a big old kind of like saber cat looking thing. Uh, Lionel doesn't wake up. I thought something happened to Lionel, like that's why he wasn't there. No, he's still sleeping on the couch. Uh, on the uh, bear skin rug, excuse me. And this guy's like, oh, you must be famished. I'll make you some breakfast. And we get more lovely faces. And he's off to make breakfast. Wakes up, Tiger wakes up Lionel, and he's like, we got to get out of here. This guy's creepy, and we got to go. So, like, oh, he, the guy who owns this place is here. I want to meet him. And, of course, Lionel's just like, oh, hi, my name's Lionel. Nice to meet you. And they have a big old happy, fun meeting time. Lionel sees his cat, and we get butt cheeks on the cat. He, he thinks he's a – I'm assuming he thinks that the cat's like them, like a sentient, uh, you know, intelligent cat. Um, and he's like, here, you're naked. Let's get some clothes on you. So he gives him like a little – his little like uh, – onesie <laughs> the, yeah so he so he put some clothes on the cat so whatever more butt cheeks and they try to leave but or snow guy puts up some bars you can't go out there there's uh there's a monster out there called the sparkle maw it's gonna kill you if you go out there and since you guys are my friends i don't want you to die he doesn't explain what it is he just says it's it's like this evil disgusting monster and then he has like a picture what looks like to be a family or like his friends who've all i'm assuming have been killed by the sparkle maw because he like does the whole you know touch the picture and cry and he's like, okay, no, well, we'll forget about that. Since we're here anyways, I'm going to make some bacon, whatever. So they're going to make some, uh, he's going to make them breakfast. And Tiger is completely distrustful. He's like, hey, I don't like this guy. Let's get the hell out of here. It's called the Thundercats. We got to go. But Lionel's like, remember, we're supposed to trust. We should trust him because that's what this trust exercise is about. Then Tiger says, this is true. He's like, you can't blindly trust everybody. But Lionel's like, nope, nope. You told me to trust, so I'm going to do it. I don't know the lesson here. <laughs> Because why don't they, this guy is obviously a little weird and he is a kind of, seems like a kind of like a crazy guy because he's probably been alone for so long, but he turns out to be right. So don't trust crazy people you meet in the woods. <laughs> he does this whole thing about trusting. So he's like grabbing his mouth and Lionel's just like, it's like his big buddy. So they're jumping all over each other and just, be, they're just frolicking with each other. I'm sure the other cats are looking for us and they're still watching the cooking show and they all pass out. Then again, um, uh, I like to cook. I'm not much of a baker, but I like I know how to cook. The TV says, "Oh, her bunt cake deflated. Bunt cakes can't deflate. A souffle can deflate, but not a bunt cake." So that right there makes the episode a failure. Then we get kind of a. This is a little bit of a funny gag. We see all these markings on the wall. I'm like, what the hell? They've only been there for like a couple of hours. They haven't been there for days and days and days. But he's writing in his journal. Oh, I don't know what's happening. These have been 365 minutes. Like, So every mark on this wall has just been a minute. Okay, that made me smile. That was a little bit funny. Lino and the kitten are playing with the ball of yarn because they're cats. And then he does like the scary face where like the guy's like, oh, keep playing. And he's like, so they set this up as him being evil. Is this something that Tiger just saw? And he really didn't make this face, and Tiger's just um, imagining that it's evil. I, they never go into any of this, but it's just, why why set them set this up for him to be an evil guy, and he's not? So Tiger's like, oh, can I play with you guys? Oh, yeah, sure, we're going to play, um, it's not Pictionary, but he calls it something stupid, like Thunder Pictures or something. And I'm thinking, what is he trying to do? And um, they're trying to guess, they're trying to guess what it is, and then Lana's like, I know what it is, and it's like Thunder, Thunder, but that's a lightning bolt. That would be lightning, lightning, lightning. Thunder doesn't necessarily have a, a visual representation of thunder. Um, whatever. And Thundercats, ho. You need you like a gardening ho. But like, I honestly didn't know. I, I thought this was some type of like mirror on a string or something. It does not look like a ho at all. But anyways, he tricks him into summoning the other Thundercats. And of course, uh, it's Shitara that takes the lead about, oh, we got to go save them and... I'm not saying Panther has to be the, the, the de facto leader, but Panther would be about saving his friends too, not just Chitara. So he's like, oh man, I'm going to miss my show. Then um, more time wasting. Uh, they get into the Thunder Tank and it like goes into the ocean. 
How far away was this freaking Hook Mountain place? Then it gets to the to the uh, snowy area, and then it like pulls out s skis and freaking ski poles. <sighs> they get to the cabin. It's really funny. Lino is upset with Tigra for tricking him into summoning the Thundercats, which is which I kind of again this is a serious situation. It, it doesn't hurt to have the rest of your team here, but at the same time, he didn't trust his leader. But if it was about trust, then he doesn't trust them and. I don't know what the lesson, I've said this like 10 times. I don't know what the lesson is supposed to be in this show. Then like the snow guy is kind of upset. Like, oh, you think I'm lying to you? I'm literally trying to keep you safe from whatever this monster outside. That a thunder cat show up and then they're in like winter clothes. Unless the clothes were in the thunder tank, but why would that be? This kind of makes me feel like this was like, a, you know, they do this a lot in cartoons. Uh, they'll have an episode where like, oh, they're in a different area. So we're different clothes so they can sell a different toy. Oh, the th you can have the, th the, the winter version of the characters so they can sell the same toy with the little plastic coat. These uh, spider dudes pop out like, oh, there is monsters out there and they're kind of okay looking, you know, generic, but they're, they're, they're significant. They're sufficiently uh, bad guy enough for them to fight. And he's like, come, you know, I know a line of talking to a uh, snowman. I said, his name snowman. He's like, I know we haven't been very trusting of you, but you have to let me outside so I can save my friends. I'm like, oh, wow. Lionel's actually saying something heroic. Then he's like, oh, I'm st okay. I'll let you out there. You have to save your friends. They all get ready to fight, so they get in their little funky poses. And, um, of course, Chitara takes the lead because women rock and boys are idiots. Lino and the butt cheeks. What is the deal with male butt cheeks in this show? They do these funky poses. And look, look at look at Tiger. Like, why, why even do that? Oh, sweet poses, guys. So they're getting ready to fight. And this fight, uh, how it's set up isn't bad. Uh, it's it, they, they fight they're kind of winning they're kind of losing they're kind of taking it seriously and it's just like a normal action fight which is uh very nice i i like the how it plays out but god is it ugly the animation is missing so many frames it's ridiculously choppy it, it reminds me of you have a really crappy PC, so you're trying to get that 60 frames per second so you enable frame skip, and it just ends up looking worse. That's what they did here. They enabled frame skip times 10. It looks really bad. You know, they're fighting. Uh, Chitara kind of, is kind of fighting off one of these dudes, and then his Panther. Look at this. This is awful. Look how bad this looks. Like, he, you know, Panther's uses nunchucks, and he's like, oh, you made me miss my show, and he does like a cool move where he slides underneath and hits him a bunch of times underneath. If it wasn't so choppy, this would have looked awesome. But it's you know ch choppy 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 and, but there, it's a decent fight it goes back and forth uh tiger even even tiger's getting some good fighting in here and i thought oh he's gonna be a goofball and just get his butt kicked no he actually does pretty decent wily kitten wily cat don't act like idiots they actually fight this thing he's throwing bombs um his sister is getting his oh no come here wily cat let me catch you so they're like they're taking it seriously i, I was expecting silly stupid things to happen but nothing silly really happened except for the artist Oh, it's so bad. They're all getting beat. Chitara's running away, but she kind of sneaks into the snow, something that probably would happen. But they're all getting beat, and I'm like, what the hell's Lino? Lino's like, oh, I know what to do, guys. He, like, ran away and climbed up a mountain, and he's doing the trust fall thing. The the screaming pterodactyl babies again? I don't... Is that funny? Did, did anyone think, oh, geez, that's so funny. He falls off the mountain, and it takes forever. Even Panther was like, whoa, how long is this going to take? He lands on top of one of the spiders. Like, oh, okay, that was a decent move. He's from a high up. It's going to cause a little bit of damage. Then he bounces on the other spider, bounces on the other spider, bounces on the other spider, and that's how he beats them. What? Why? You had a, a, a decent premise of a fight here where the good guys start out as beating up the spiders. The spiders start fighting back. Oh, the what was me moment. Uh, Lionel comes in, saves the day. But why did it have to be in such a stupid way? One more spider left. Oh no, there's there's uh, Snarf. But we all know Snarf is like this badass super mega robot with like jetpacks and chainsaws and laser cannons. So I'm thinking, oh, he's going to just blast this thing away. Snowman and his cat show up and he has like this freaking like uh, steampunk blunderbuss thing. Blows away. Uh, it doesn't blow it away. It has like a net and catches one of the, the spiders and knocks it off the edge. Like, oh wow, we need so much. Then we get the lesson about trusting Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't trust you, Lino. And Lino just like, yeah, I just trust everybody all the time, no matter what. That's a bad lesson. They're like, oh, well, you did it, Snowman. That was great. He's like, oh, thanks for beating the Sparkle Maw. He's like, oh, that wasn't the Sparkle Maw. And I guess the Sparkle Maw is the whole mountain. Like, it's a giant monster. All of that's, that's, we'll, we'll just stop on this small asteroid and go in this cave. Remember Star Wars? It's very similar to that. So this giant monster eats them. They're like, oh, 
I guess we're stuck in here. Does anyone want to play Pictionary? Oh, and they laugh it up at the end of the episode. So they all died. Hooray, last episode, right? Overall, I want this fight scene to be redone because it isn't bad. The the setup, the 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 framing of it, just the, God, the animation is awful, awful, awful. I would love for someone to go back and reanimate this this fight scene, but with the, the actual real character, like the 2011 style characters, this could actually have been pretty cool. But um, yeah, uh, another horrible lesson for kids. Um, not funny jokes and terrible animation. So, 10 down, six more to go. Crimson Saint here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.